Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Spotlight. Um, I've actually had a lot of requests recently, so I'm actually kind of just going down the list. I have this queue of making Monster Spotlight videos um, whenever I have the chance to. So, today we have with us um, Zethra and his Dark Valk. Now, this is a uh, this is this is quite a quite a unique monster because it is a light dark nat five. Um, I actually do have a few people with light dark nat fives lined up that wanna wanna spotlight their their monsters. Um, unfortunately, sometimes I I don't like I can't make the videos right away, and then they maybe they forget about it, change their reps or something like that. Um, but if they if they still have the reps that they like, I basically have this list on the side of my my screen, like a note on the side of my screen that's like uh, I have like um, everybody in queue and the monster that they want to spotlight. So if it's not the same monster, then I usually just kind of skip them over. Um, if they switch back, then I can always go back and do the spotlight. If not, then um, I continue going down the list basically. Yeah, so if you have a cool monster that you want me to do a spotlight on um, and just show it off my channel, I will. I can. I can spotlight the monster. I can shout out your name, and um, yeah, we can. We can have some fun times. All right, so here we here we go. We we have this um, dark Valk now. She is mostly a tanky monster. She is a she is a tank type. She has stun and silence, 100% stun and 80% silence. I think it's, I think she's actually pretty strong. She has pretty nice stats. Um, pretty nice base stats. Now, um, Zethra currently has her on a broken set. Um, it's perfectly fine to go on a broken set on mon on on whatever monsters as long as the the substats of those gems are good. So he decided to go with a HP defense crit rate build. I think this is actually pretty nice because most of her stat distribution does actually go into HP and defense. She's a mostly tanky monster. Um, she doesn't have too much base attack. And she does have, with her being a dark monster, she does have that nice, um, you know, 100% crit damage. So she will be able to do a decent amount of damage. I think she's mostly used for PvP defense. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to actually, I'm not going to do like a fast run. I'm actually just going to go in and do a more of a, um, you know, just, just more of a slow run. Uh, we're, we're just going to do some, we're just going to kind of test out her damage, how much she can do. Um, and see see what she can do like on armor break uh, without armor break. And this is actually one of the more ideal ways to build her because she is a dark monster and she is a nat five, and she's not a monster with too much threat. threat. So um, people in arena probably or PvP are not gonna target her first. If you have something with, that's more threatening, say for example you have a um, you know dark Miho for example, the most people. Um, would target the Dark Miho first. Well, I'm not sure if most people would do it, but I, I definitely would do it. Uh, I'll definitely hit the Dark Miho first instead of her. And yeah, so she would get ignored. But y you actually do want her to, to be ignored because um, if you want to gem her with one slot crit rate, you can actually just kind of sneak that in and she'll be able to do a little bit of damage at the same time, provide some CC and also be kind of tanky in case people do actually hit her afterwards. So yeah, we're just going to... We're gonna put in some armor breakers. Um, I'll put in an H HP lead just so she doesn't she doesn't die. And um, I'm not gonna use any crit rate lead or attack lead to to mess up her uh, crit rate or crit damage or or her her damage or anything. We can just see her her damage without any sort of um, without any sort of buffs. So I'm also gonna put in an armor breaker um, just so we can see the. Dif difference in damage when she actually does do an armor break and we will also what else can we do I think we can put in a bar booster and a, and a light tank um, this way the dark units don't hit her alright I'm testing most of my most of the monster spotlight units in B10 because B10 um, has like it's it's light and dark I would actually like to try her against light monsters because she can actually hit light, light monsters pretty hard Wait, I think... Is there a light stage in, in one of the star stones? I think B9 star stone is light, right? If I remember correctly, B9 star stone is light. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go in and check it out and see if the, see if the units are light. The units are light, we'll, we'll test it out here. Alright, so wait. The, oh yeah, all these guys are light, but they're only level 50 light, so they, they actually might do more damage against these guys. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'll just I'll just waste seven energy. All right. 
For the sake of the video, I shall waste 7 energy. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Um, same team. We're gonna go with Dark Cupid. We're gonna go with the Dark Valk. We're gonna go with Dark Thor, and we're gonna go with. Uh... Actually, we don't need any uh, any bar boosters anymore. Or actually, I'll go with a Dark Dark Bar Booster. I'll go with Dark Spark Hit. This way, he can also um, boost up her bar, so she she can actually use her. Uh, Use her AoE skill more if she, she ever gets it off. Okay, let's do this. Alright, in, in the future, all dark units I will test in uh, B9 of the Light Dungeon. So, um, since these two units are the same, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to test her, her damage first against the this Light Minotaur without Armor Break, and then next turn we'll test it with Armor Break. And hopefully it doesn't crit or it crits on both, then we can see the damage difference of armor break uh, no armor break but anyways as we run through the level we should mostly we should be able to see her damage in all, all situations 6k 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 and a stun she actually does decent damage i i could see her being very very annoying if you put her in a uh, arena defense she can stun some uh she can stun some yeah she can she can stun some like some some light units and stuff. Oh shit, Thor just one shot that thing. Uh well that was uh that was awkward. Hmm. I might have fucked up there. Are we gonna get a non crit? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit something else and see if we can uh See if we can get a non... We can get Thor to not one-shot it. Because <laughs> my, my Dark Thor, I just I just realized, does too, does too much damage. My armor break, but don't kill. Okay, perfect. There we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm going to hit it with the Dark Falc now that we have armor break. 9k, 9k, 9k. Alright, it's three hits. Not, not, not too bad, not too bad at all. Right, let me just boost up the bar a little bit. So we can see if we can get a get a full bar by next turn. Alright, I'm gonna hit this go so we can see the damage. Uh, this this way you can compare the two damages. I did about 9k on armor break and see if the, I think this should still do about 6k or or something. Alright, so these guys are actually slightly tankier. I did like 5,800 to to 6k since they are they are uh, definitely slightly tankier. I'm gonna armor break this one again. Then we'll just have these two hit, um, hit this, hit this ghost. Boost up the bar, see if we can get a full bar. Unfortunately, not. Um, we're just gonna, yeah, nine k, nine k, nine k, really nice. Oh wait, I can't generate more blue souls with this. It would only generate red souls. That is unfortunate, but I think I think next turn uh, the Sparky will be able to boost her bar to full, so we can see the damage in or the damage comparison on her um, with armor break and without armor break. I'm not sure if my Thor if they can survive one hit from my Thor. Ah oh, shit, that didn't work. All right, we're we're just gonna have to test her damage without armor break. Fortunately, we can't. Unfortunately, <laughs> I should have brought my I should have brought something else to armor break. Wait, she still doesn't have a full bar. Are you are you fucking with me? All right, we're, we're looks like we're gonna have to do her AOE. See how many um, how much damage you can do on this this one little slime. All right. Okay, let's let, let's do this. Three, four, five. Five hits of 4k actually doesn't do too much damage, but then again, this um, th she is built full tanky. All she really, all all that he's relying on is his uh, is her base crit damage basically. And I think it's not too bad because if you if you just put a crit rate gem on her, um, she actually does pretty decent amount of damage because she does she is a dark monster. She does have that nice um, nice base base crit. 
Oh, I think I. Oh, we could have. We could actually. We could have seen the damage comparison. Um, if I was hitting these light units. So on the boss who is also who is non non light, she does like three k. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to hit them all hit the boss first and then I'll, I'll hit the side unit and see if I can get a full bar on her that's what I'm actually trying to do right now yeah she's, she's doing 9k on these so th these ghosts are just as tanky as the level ones but they just have more HP because they are they are actually on the boss stage all right next turn I will have a full bar with her and since this ghost is already armor broken, uh, we can compare the damage between the this ghost and this one. Um, you know, we can compare crit damage between the two. So I'm gonna hit this thing first with hit the boss first with a spark hit, so she does get a full bar. Good thing I brought him. And um, yeah, I might as well I might as well armor break the boss as well. And then this this AOE should be able to kill everything, and we can see the damage on the on the armor broken boss, the armor broken ghost, and the uh, and compare it to the non armor broken ghost as well. Yeah, I was doing seven k um, on this armor broken one, and only four four point seven point two k, and this this was doing four point eight k a hit, um, five hits on her AOE. So that's actually pretty good. You know, I definitely think she's a really nice monster to, to put on defense. Not, I, I don't think it's like super exceptional, but I, I think it's not bad to put on defense because she does have that very, very annoying stun. And unlike, unlike monsters like, uh, you know, Fire Shiva and stuff, um, she also has some some threat um, with her. If Like she's tanky enough, like her base stats are, so, are tanky enough for people to want to ignore her because, you know, a lot of people can build her full tanky and, and th that would basically just waste one attack. But you can also sneak a crit rate gem on her and she'll be able to do a decent amount of damage. So there's like two ways to gem her and it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like, will you hit my Dark Valk first? But if you don't, then if she's built with a crit rate gem, she might do some decent damage. But if you, if you do, she could be built full tanky as well. Um, so yeah, that's it's definitely definitely pretty pretty fun. Anyways, that is pretty much it um, for this monster spotlight. I will be doing more of these monster spotlights very very soon. Um, I have quite a lot of requests piling up for them, so I'm kind of just going down the list one by one. If you have some cool monsters that you want want me to spotlight, um, usually I take priority on monsters that are like completely maxed out, like their maximum potential. But if you have just like an evil two monster or um, even a level 50 monster if you're new and you you want to see like you want to show for example like what your level 50 water mona can do in b8 um, it, it would be really nice to show the new players that as well so yeah I, I'm I'm uh, everyone's welcome and I'm, I'm open to anything but anyways that is pretty much it for this video um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out